I welcome you guys back to my channel again. It's Genius Graphics. In today's tutorial, you guys will be learning how to create a movie poster and how to color grade it on Lightroom. So, without wasting our time, let's dive into the tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. So, firstly, I'm going to delete this text. Then I'll change my background color to color black. Yeah. So now I'm going to change my image size to 890 by 1280 pixels. Okay. So now I'm going to import from my gallery and I'm going to move to my photo room. I'm going to import this image. Yeah. So now as you can see the relative size is 107. I need to make it 113. So it's too much. Yeah, I'm okay with this. 115 is okay. So now I'm going to import the second mask, which is this. Yeah, I'm going to increase this size also. I'm going to increase this very well. Yeah, just like this. Then after that, I will lock this layer then let me adjust this also yeah so now I will import from my gallery then I will move to my downloads then select this image the building's image yeah so now I'm going to move to my rotate then let's just rotate it by minus 8. Yeah. So now let's send it to back. The next thing now is for me to increase the size. Then let's adjust it very well. Yeah. I'm okay with this. So now. Let's lock that layer also. I'm going to add a shape which is going to be square. And I'll move to my gradient. I will select this. Can you see? So the color code is 748582. Yeah. So I'm going to mark it. Then I'm going to place it over here. I'll send it to back and bring this also to back. Yeah. So the next thing now is to import some lightning effect. So let's move to my gallery. Then I'll select this first. I will increase the size. Then I'm going to lock that layer. So you see this one image. I'm going to adjust it to this area. Yeah, so let's lock that layer. Then the second lightning effect, I'm going to import that also. So my relative size, I will increase that. I'm going to lock it. Then this man also, I'm going to adjust the size. So I'm going to adjust the size. Yeah, I'm okay with this. I'm going to lock it. Then you see this particular building. I'm going to adjust the size more. Let's reduce it. Yeah, then 
I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. Yeah. So now I'm going to lock all my layers. Then I'm going to add another shape, which is going to be square. I will move to my gradient and I'll select this. Yeah. So now I will move to my color and give it a color black. And you see that? Then the next thing you rotate it. I'm going to increase the size. You reduce this also. Then you place it over here. And you see that? Yeah. So now let's add some elements. So I, I need the lightning for my image. So this I'm going to import it. Increase my relative size. Then I'm going to send it to back. So now I'm going to bring it up to this side. I think you can see that. Yeah. So now let me type the movie title and some other elements. So I'm going to type my text. Yeah. I'm going to type the movie title. Yeah. My genome. Then I'll move to my font. I will select the DCC Ash. The link is in the description, so you can check it out in my Telegram channel. And also all the image used. So I'm going to bring it over here. Yeah. I'm going to add a text. I will I I'm going to change the text to directed by genius graphics okay so now i will i'm going to change my font to the bebas neon font the link also is in the description so i'm going to change it to this then my line spacing i will increase that 25 then reduce my text size Yeah, so I'm going to adjust this also to fit that text on top. Yeah, so now I'm going to type on cinema July 24. On cinema July 24. Okay. So I'm going to move to my line spacing. I'm going to reduce it to 10. Yeah, 10. And I'm going to adjust the text. Yeah. So I'm going to lock my layers. Then for the final thing I'll be adding to the image is those movie stuff, which is going to include the director, the producer, everything. So I'm going to import from my gallery. So I'm going to select where I have it. This is it. I'm going to select it. Yeah, then I'm going to mark it. Now I'm going to increase my size. Then I will change my color. I'm going to change that to color white. Then I'm going to move it down here. I think you can see that. So now I'm going to add a shape. Because the text seems to be blurry. So I'm going to add those, those two texts and the shape together. The image I import and the text. We are going to match them together. Then let's adjust it. Yeah. So I'm going to change my color to color white once again. Yeah. And our flyer is ready. So now we have to give it some effect to make it look more realistic so that we are going to have this movie flyer vibe. So now I'm going to save as image then I'm going to save it very high. I 
I moved to the photo. Now I'm going to share it to Adobe Lightroom. Yeah, add to Lightroom. You see, it's adding it. And after some seconds, I have it there. So you select the image. You tap on it. Yeah, so this is what we did on Pixel Lab. So now you move to your presets. I'm going to be using the recommended presets. Yeah, so right here I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it to this particular preset. Yeah, can you see that? Yeah, so we have different type of presets over here. But for me, I decide to use this. Can you see? So now I'm going to mark it. Then I'm going to share it and save it to my device. Yeah, okay. So now let's check it out on our photos. Yeah, this is the result. Guys, can you see? Wow. Very beautiful. So guys, as you can see, what I created on my smartphone. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. And you can also share this video to your friends. So guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.